one of the things about, uh, when I was working at Corporate America, I remember we were in a meeting, and we were in there, I swear to God, for hours. We could not come up with anything else. We, we just, we were like at a stalemate. We couldn't think of anything else to come to this, the solution to a problem that we were having. One of my colleagues, who to this day is one of the funniest people I've met in my life, he cracked an hysterical joke. None of us saw it coming. We all laughed. There were 15 people in the room. We all started laughing. It was the, the energy, you could feel the energy shift. Anyone ever been in a situation where you've been somewhere and all of a sudden it's so uptight, all of a sudden something happens and the energy is much more flowing? So he cracks this joke, which some, by the way, would find highly inappropriate and unprofessional. Within minutes, and by the way, it was clean, so. <laughs> Within minutes, I swear to God, two people shifted enough to come up with solutions that were absolutely brilliant. And we were all like, what just happened? Because he was bringing all of who he was to the table including his very, very funny humor side. So we really need to, again, look at what our definition of being a professional truly, truly is. Again, I would encourage you deeply to consider it when you leave today. Going back again to the question I had earlier, how many people are afraid that you know, things, lines will get a little blurry between, between work and fun? And Carl Rogers, who is the a psychologist who is the creator of the centered, a person-centered approach, which is what I use in my own practice. He says, given a suitable psychological climate, humankind is trustworthy, creative, self-motivated, powerful, and constructive, capable of releasing undreamed of possibilities, given the correct psychological climate. It's pretty interesting. He says, all this research, when you let people and you trust them and you give them that environment, they'll come up to solutions on their own. So, the question is, again, and the comment is, is it up to you to create that climate? And then model what it looks like to be a balanced, fun, and productive employee. Okay, so hopefully you all have some paper and a pen. We're going to have you do some work today. But hopefully it'll be fun work. We're going to do a little exercise. And I'd like you all to please put on your on your sheets, this circle. It's a big circle, and it has a line down the middle, a line across, and then one more line to create six individual slices. You're creating six slices within that circle. And I want you to label them as such. <coughs> Friendships, work, romance, fun, exercise, and spirituality. Let me repeat those, those six pieces are friendships, work, romance, fun, exercise, and spirituality. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to put one dot in each slice of pie. So you end up with six dots. One dot in each slice of pie to the extent to which you're fulfilled in that area. If you put the circle towards the, me the middle of the pie, it means you're not very fulfilled in that area. If you put the dot on the external, or on the, towards the outer perimeter, that means you're extremely fulfilled in that area. So go ahead and put six dots, one within each slice of pie. The six of okay, okay. Yes, again, if you have a dot towards the center of the circle, that means that you're not really very fulfilled in that area. And if you're extremely fulfilled, you put it up towards the outer rim. So again, six dots. Once completed, I want you to connect the dots. Connect the dots. 
If you can get a circle, you're doing great. <laughs> but yes, uh, ideally in a circle. What usually happens, what usually happens is it's a mandala. It's a, sometimes it's a star. But I, and I have circles sometimes, right? I, what this does, this exercise I find very powerful. And what it does is it gives you a snapshot of your life right now. And remember the, the, what I just mentioned to you, you have to model what it looks like to be fun and balanced to your, to your people that you're working with. Because you're in leadership, right? People are going to look to you as to how do they live their life. It's a snapshot of your life. Ideally, ideally, this is going to be a circle. Ideally, it's going to be a big circle. But what you might find is it's not right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage you when you leave to create two small action steps in each of these slices of pie. Two small, doable, realistic action steps that will help you increase the fulfillment in the various areas. Okay. Now today, because we're going to be moving on to the second secret of life, which is having fun, I'm going to have you focus on the fun slice. And I want you to, right now, create two small action steps. Now, by the way, have, has anyone ever heard of this, the word smart as in an analogy for goals? Anyone? Okay, smart is an analogy for specific, measurable, attainable, time, timely, uh, we just the R, realistic. Okay? So make every goal smart. For today's purposes, let's create two small action steps that we can do within the next week or two. All right, that's doable, right? It's realistic. To create two small action steps that will assist you in increasing your fun in your life, which will then increase you in bringing balance to your life. All right, so go ahead and do that. 